In this video, we're going to be looking at a half section front view. Now, it's the same objective as we've observed before. The top part is 40 millimeters high. The base of the flange is 10 millimeters thick. So what I've done is just very quickly sketch the unit with a half section front view. We're looking in the direction of the arrow. However, we're only taking away a part of the object. And so even though we call it a half section, we're taking away this quarter so that when we're looking in the direction of the arrow, the front view of it, with the section view, the front view, half of it will be sectioned so that what I've done is just take out this part of it here so that we can understand. So what we're doing is sectioning this part here and we're sectioning, as I indicated over here, we're sectioning at this point here A. So we have a half section looking in the direction of the arrow and this large, much firmer line only goes across half of the drawing. Now, in most exams and tests and so forth, it asks you to only give a half section front view. It doesn't necessarily put this part in. It indicates the top view and it indicates the direction of the arrow. So as being the front view, okay, and ask for an, a half section front view. However, in other drawings, they indicate by a point like this. So what we have is this part here so that I'm just as I said before I'm just going to sketch that in and we indicate with our section lines our cross hatch lines this is the part that we're taking out so what we're going to be seeing is this part here till it reaches there then we're going to see the solid part of this now I've indicated that down below we're looking here so we're going to see this the hole isn't sectioned because the hole is behind this imaginary section plane going through here, there's the section plane. So we've cut away the top half of this, we cut right through there. Okay, so the hole there isn't going to be cross section, it's behind the section plane. This part of the hole is behind the section plane, it isn't cross, -section, cross sectioned. Okay, this part here, we're only going to be seeing part of that as hidden details, and uh, I'm going to guess and say that will come down there. Okay, and what we're going to do is just look at how we project this onto our our half section front view. Now I've really just dropped the lines down directly downwards, straight down here. Any one of these lines which is relevant to our drawing, and they all are. Okay, I've just dropped them straight down. I've put in a baseline across here. I put a ten thick for this flange. Okay. This area above it, okay, we're going to be calling that 40 millimeters high. So this is 10, this is 40. Now I've already drawn those on your drawing. Now I don't need to repeat that. What I have to do is literally join the dots. So I'm just going to take a set square in this case. And I can see this, this concept sketch, okay. And I usually start with a concept sketch as to what I think it will look like. And you ne don't necessarily need to put this sort of thing in ever. However, when you're given this, you start off with a concept sketch and from there you can start to do your work. So that I know that this is going to be a firm line between those two parts so that that, okay, and that's going to run between there and there. Other horizontal lines, we can see that this is coming going to be coming out to here so that line goes between there and there this line because we're looking here we're going to see it come right across to there so it runs between there and there and obviously the line at the bottom goes all the way across it just can't half suspend there so we've got that line in place but on this side, we've got a line. I can usually align it with this side. So that's that line. I'm going to work on this side just so that you can see we've got a line coming up here. And I'm just going to switch back to my other roller rule. Just because it gives me a more definite point of where these lines are at the very edge of the roller rule. 
Okay, this is a hidden detail of that circle, so we might as well map that in. Three dots like that. This is the centre line for that circle. We might as well map that in. Long, short, long. Okay, and you remember that the hidden detail line is just dash, dash, dash. Okay, as in this case, dash, dash, dash. Here we have the edge of the ray section. So I'm going to put that in. So that's that one taken care of. I'm just moving across slowly. This is the, this is a sectioned line. So that this part here. So what I'm going to do is, it's actually on the right hand side, it's a hidden detail line. Dash, 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 all the way through. As I said before, there's nothing to indicate these holes aren't going all the way through. This is the edge of this hole. So I'm just going to put hidden detail in there. This is the very center line. Right, and usually I indicate my center line long, short, Long, short, long, short, long. Now it's because it's a hidden, because it's a center line for a section, usually the ends become a little bit firmer. You don't have to be that exacting in, um, in your drawing. Okay, this part here, going back to my other drawing, I can see that the hole... Okay, we've cut through that, so that's going to be a firm line all the way through. That's done. This is the edge. It comes down to there. This is the side of this hole. This is the centre line of that hole, long, short, long. This is the other edge of that hole. Oop. Everything just moved a bit. Okay, and that's going to be sectioned through there. So what I have is going back to here. That looks right. I'm just going to section. This is correct. Okay, I've got centre line, but that... All I'm going to do is just use the set square just to put some 45 degree lines across which usually indicate the section plane and they're quite straightforward they're about four or five millimeters apart okay I'll put that one in there because where the material is of the same it's not, a, it's not a different part. However, in this case, like all these are the same part. So all the lines go in the same direction. So, so far, so good. Right, that's about right. We put that one in. Okay, this one. Okay, so that looks right. All I'm going to do now is put in the label underneath, half section view A. Half section. Front view. Now if it asked me to indicate on these some dimensions, I would go back to the previous video and show, I can show dimensions here, I can show dimensions up there. So that's basically a half section front view. That's how we do it. This part on the left hand side, because it's shown here, now in an examination or in a test, you won't necessarily be told which half will be sectioned. However, in this, because it's uh, symmetrical, we can work straight through that. Go and have a look at your concept sketch. Go and have a look at your final sketch. If they align, all good. Right up.